<clears throat> uh, legal and ethics. Um, this working group was initially established on rather short notice last uh, during the last meeting. Um, I think the uh, outline is of this presentation is the same as for minimal standards. So um, the purpose of this working group is uh, to address uh, issues pertaining legal, like uh, intellectual property and ethical, um, like um, uh, research on the human subject standards uh, for the air community. Um, members uh, who of the working group who agreed to be named um, are the six people um, listed here, demographics, um, uh, you see here we have a very high attendance rate because our uh, um, standard for being included here is uh, basically based on self-reporting. So this is, uh, um, if you are here, you all, uh, are act also an active member. Okay, so the goals that we um, set for ourselves were uh, fourfold on the one hand, um, uh, get together with uh, Dan Emmerling, who, uh, want, who plans to get off a larger scale service um, initially, in, uh, uh, or which was initiated by the uh, TAPS Initiatives Committee, um, trying to identify reasons why people do not share um, AirSec data. Um, so, um, and this is of course something that um, as ARC we should also be interested in. Um, then there were a couple of other points like uh, clarifying um, IP um, regarding the software developed by members of the group if this is a combined effort um, uh, while working on uh, one of the working groups or subcommittees. Um, then um, advice regarding um, uh, how licensing should happen and whether um, we could do licensing um, to industry um, as a potential um, source of funding for the air community. And then finally developing ethical standards um, for ARC members when um, generating or using air seek data from humans. Okay. So the activities for um, uh, during the last reporting term um, was mainly on the survey. Um, so we had um, a couple of calls still in late 2019 and early 20, uh, 2020, um, which uh, was joined between members of this working group and the TEPS initiatives uh, committee. Um, we got to the point that we um, identified a number of um, things that the survey should cover. Um, mainly, so what are the lack of, uh, so whether data is not shared based on a lack of an incentive, whether there are uh, concerns about uh, jeopardizing potential um, intellectual property rights, and um, uh, supposed or real restrictions based on uh, GDPR or other related norms. Um, this is basically how far we got by um, uh, January or February 2020, and then there was a small pandemic you might have heard of. And um, so um, this then basically has uh, quenched a lot of the efforts. Um, so we only had one brief, uh, one more brief call before this meeting um, in which um, Tanya then could report that uh, the initial planning phase uh, for this survey um, is basically nearly completed and that it can take off. Um, and basically due to this lack of um, additional meetings between February and November, um, we unfortunately did really not manage to work on any of the IP or ethical guidelines. Okay, so proposed plans for this year um, or for the next one is um, to uh, really then finalize, conduct and evaluate the service. Therefore, um, uh, results from that survey would become the main product of this working group. Um, then uh, continue to provide guidance on um, GDPR issues one of the things that the working group is interested to collaborate on with uh, germline database is understand the restrictions of a um, very intricate piece of European legislature. Uh, so the um, uh, database protection laws directive uh, 96-9-EC, um, which um, right now basically is the main protection on um, uh, germline databases like um, IMGT 
and uh, we try to understand that and uh, so the effects on sharing data and as well as the current ongoing legislative efforts by the uh, European Union to actually abolish that law finally. Okay, um, another thing that um, Tanya is interested in following up um, is uh, still to develop an ethical framework for patient engagement um, and um, especially studies involving indigenous people. And um, then um, the last point um, is to evaluate the legal and ethical aspects of uh, the current open science uh, practices um, and uh, recommend um, and do this in collaboration with um, other um, main stakeholders like uh, the Research Data Alliance and IUIS. Okay, final slide. Uh, I already mentioned our products. And um, so for proposed co-leads, um, Tanya agreed to continue. Um, I would uh, like to step down as lead um, in this uh, working group um, because I'm uh, the um, price that uh, Neva and Nina gave me in, in being in the most working groups is probably nothing to be proud of. Um, and um, so therefore I would step down and if anyone is interested, then please hand in your nominations um, to Pam, like for the other working groups. Yep, and that's it. Well, Christian, that is something to be proud of. We all are very grateful to you for, for being so engaged in the air community. And thank you for presenting this all working group um, uh, or, uh, also on, on such short notice. So we really appreciate that. Um, are there any questions for Christian? We're running a little bit behind, but I wanna make sure if there's any questions that we get to them now. No, okay, so in that, in that case, let's move on.